Hi! If you're new to my channel, my name is Yana and I'm a freelance illustrator slash character designer, soon to be an independent comic creator. And if you're a regular, welcome back! It's always nice to chat with my regulars. And this is a video I've been sitting on for a very long time as it shows the making of the cover art from a new art book called Prism. So now that we're on the topic, let me just get my five seconds of information in about my new art book. So it is being published by 3D Total Publishing, which I'm sure some of you have heard of. They're responsible for publishing art books by Loish and a bunch of other amazing artists, so it's a big privilege to work with them. But yes, the campaign is currently live on Kickstarter, and if you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. The link is in my description below, and we're about halfway through the campaign now, and it has slowed down significantly since the start, as they tend to. But I'm really, really hoping to reach the current stretch goal, which is an extra 16 pages added to the book. So it would honestly be a huge waste to let the extra pages slip away, you guys. And if you're interested at all in my new art book, please take a look and it will be hugely appreciated by myself and of course everybody who has already backed the project. So. Yeah, also, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, there will be four new original pieces available as add-ons uh, in the campaign very soon, this coming Monday, I think, if not sooner. So yeah, be on the lookout for that if you're interested in owning an original painting of mine. You can always make an adjustment to your pledge if you've already backed the Kickstarter, and I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time because... I was honestly blown away by how quickly the originals got sold out. I did not expect that at all and that's why I was scrambling for the last couple of weeks to look through my other original pieces that I still have and see what else I am willing to part with, which is something I don't do very often, admittedly. I just tend to sit on them because I do actually quite enjoy looking at them myself as the fruits of my tedious labor, but yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know that there will be four more available soon and I will of course make a post about that on my other social medias and yeah so here's the plan in this video I will tell you guys more about the cover of this art book and how I came up with the idea what it means to me what context it has in the comic that I'm working on uh, also about the title and just a general catch-up in terms of what's coming on the horizon for this channel and what big projects I'm going to be shifting to next. So, yes. Firstly, you guys, I can't believe that the Kickstarter is finally here. At first, I thought 30 days is a very long time, but honestly, in the blink of an eye, I cannot believe we're already halfway through the campaign. It's crazy how fast time went by, and I just wanted to... Thank you so much to everyone who backed the project so far. It means so much to me and I honestly feel so just relieved. I was very nervous about the campaign. Um, I've done a couple of Kickstarters, one a very, very long time ago and another a few years ago. Some of you might remember from my previous art book for A Milk of Melancholy. And yeah, it's always like an extremely stressful time because I feel like it's so public and you know the the nervousness of like not being able to hit the goal or like falling short of certain expectations like really really gets to me so it was just such a relief uh to have so much support from you guys and i'm very very grateful for that so yeah i also wanted to mention that since we have actually reached to um stretch goals already the second one of which being the postcard set uh of two postcards the artwork that is in the kickstarter is placeholder and i wanted to make something new and i wanted to involve the community a little bit in that so on my instagram page a few days ago i did like this little poll which asked which pair of characters you guys would prefer to see on the new postcard art which i am going to be creating shortly um and I will do the same here. So once I, I will just time it in a way that I'll make the poll public as soon as this video goes live so that if you guys want to contribute to the decision making process, I will make the poll in my community section. So just throwing that out there. But yeah, uh, this project, I 
I, I just wanted to tell you guys how much of a big deal this art book project really is for me like on a personal level and of course for my career so it's huge because I have been a huge fan of 3D Total and their Kickstarter projects for a long time and uh, it was always kind of like it seemed like such an out of reach thing to even like an inconceivable thought that I would one day get to work with them and like I still can't even believe that it's happening at all especially knowing that some of the artists that I admire and have admired for so many years like Loish I've been a big fan of her work since like I started posting my stuff on the internet which was like 20 well not 20 like 15 years ago or something like that so yeah it's, it's incredible to be able to work with them and i think they're just doing such an incredible job at the presentation something that i absolutely could not do by myself so it's it's huge but another big reason why i think this project is so significant to me is that i like to think about art books in the sense of a conclusion to a an era if you will or like um yeah i guess an era is a way of putting it in my art career I, I do like to break it down into sections it's, it makes it a lot easier for me to digest and to kind of like assess my progress in terms of where i'm going and reassess my goals and this art book is the culmination of the past few years uh maybe four four or five years of the era of me trying to work my way up towards being able to start my comic book series and i wanted to explain to you guys why it kind of like why i see it this way and what has more or less led up to this being the final little conclusive chunk of time that has allowed me to uh, create the atmosphere or like the, the the foundation that will allow me to actually give a good crack at working on my comic independently and um, giving it the amount of time that it needs without it being like some sort of secondary project that I work on now and then etc you know what I'm saying anyways so basically after I finished working on the previous gigantic project that I had, which was Grimoire Noir, as some of you are aware of, it was quite the experience for me. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to, I didn't want to jump straight into doing my own thing because obviously there were a lot of concerns, especially financially. Like I was completely at the bottom of the barrel when I finished that project. And I, the first thing, of course, that I decided to focus on was to get my fi finances in order to pay off my student loan and make sure that I have enough of a padding financially to be able to dedicate at least a few months to just working on my comic to see if I can get it off the ground and to see if I can somehow monetize it in a livable way. But of course, I live in, you know, a modern metropolis and it's very expensive to live in big cities and uh, of course I needed to save up quite a bit to be able to afford myself the opportunity to finally start working on it and it more or less took all this time and of course saving money wasn't the only thing that I was focused on. I managed to get my life in order in a lot of other ways. I obviously started a youtube channel and that's more or less like doing a lot of freelance as well that's that's what i've been doing for the past few years and i have been working on the comic on and off but i've been waiting for this moment where i feel safe like psychologically safe to take a few months to myself and promise myself not to worry about finances because i have finally you know saved enough to be able to do that and uh the book i mean of, of course i still did a ton of personal artwork in this uh short period of time of a few years or whatnot and the prism art book is kind of the culmination of all of that and it's such a relief to be able to put it into a book like i think it's super significant to me to be able to look back on it and i think this book has a much more positive connotation to the title than my previous ones because I have been super 
steady in terms of my um just overall the trajectory of my art career and the way that my life has been getting itself together slowly over the past few years now i feel like i'm in a very stable position and the title of the book uh, in large part reflects that uh because my previous art books have been kind of on the sadder side and have been more focused on i guess expressing the difficulties that i've dealt with over the several years that led up to me finally finding like a solid ground in my art career and yeah uh i guess uh, i wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the cover which is what you're looking at um in this video and essentially i always pick like the, the characters that I've, that I've picked before for uh, my previous art book covers same character Heijin I'm sure some of you guys who have me who have been following me for any number of years are probably familiar with her she is the uh, generally speaking main character of the comic series that I'm writing which is called Gloaming Veil vale. Not to be mistaken for Glooming Veil, vale, which I'm noticing a couple of people say here once in a while, it's Gloaming Veil, vale. um, and glo it, you know, uh, the 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 root word there is gloaming, and gloaming is essentially like a synonym for twilight. Just so people are aware of what that means. But anyways, um, yeah. So for this cover, like I told you guys, because it's. This project is such a big culmination of, I feel like, everything that I've been working towards for the past, like, at least a decade. Um, whether I was aware of, of it acutely or not at the very beginning of my art journey, but, like, I feel like this is a huge culmination of everything that I've been hoping to achieve, and now, um... Where was it going with this? Yeah, the, the cover of the art book for me was pretty significant and I, I thought that I would introduce a secondary character into the cover and actually don't know how much I can really share without giving away what my plans for the story are. But essentially, uh, as you guys, as I've mentioned, uh, as you guys probably know, the main character is Heijin and the secondary character on the cover is named Kima and... Her role in the story acts as sort of a catalyst to reveal certain things to Heijin about herself that she was not aware of and it's gonna be like a big shift for her in her character art when these two characters meet and so that obviously has personal significance to me but also I think it was a very good type of relationship dynamic um to in for to illustrate the concept of the title which is prism prism of course um which also has personal significance to me because i i, I just you know like to contemplate on the uh idea of being an artist what it means to be an artist and i mean at least what it means to me anyhow and my relationship with what I think the purpose of it is and where inspiration comes from and um, that's why I wanted to title this book Prism because I have come to believe that being an artist and listening to- I, I think inspiration is kind of interesting because by inspiration I mean when you enter into the state of flow is what most people call it, I think. Um, it's just this concentration where you're not really thinking about what you're doing as you make art, and a lot of things just tend to come out as of thin air, like decisions just make themselves, you know what I mean? And uh, this is especially noticeable for me when it comes to writing. So a lot of the times when I'm working on the story and writing the script and trying to plan out like the characters arcs and whatnot uh once I get into a certain state the information just ju just comes out of nowhere and it kind of reveals itself and it's really really mysterious how that happens and I think that's essentially I do think it's a, it's a really positive thing to be able to just trust that and trust the source that of this information whether like whatever you believe 
it to be. I've read a lot of books um, theorizing on like where the inspiration comes from, and there's some pretty interesting and kooky theories out there, but they're all essentially talking about the same thing, and it doesn't really matter what you believe the source of it is. I think that if you trust that it is a positive thing and it is a meaningful thing, and in a lot of ways, I think that just based on how it feels to be in that state, um, it's the most meaning I've ever been able to get out of my existence personally, aside from certain moments uh, in interpersonal relationships with close friends and family members. I do think that it's, you know, probably the most important thing that I could be doing with my life, aside from the relationship aspect of it. And I think it's somewhat like the relationship between uh, an artist and the inspiration is something like a prism where your creations are this beautiful and meaningful thing that are shining through you as the um yeah i mean that sounds really like stupid and out there you know what i mean it's like it's one of those things where if you kind of verbalize it it's it's difficult to make it sound um to make it not sound silly but you know i Kind of putting myself out on a limb by even talking about this in some ways because of how dumb it kind of sounds but regardless uh i really do believe this and it's kind of where honestly this is the basis of what i organize my entire life around so i organize my whole life around creating the circumstances necessary for me to be able to fulfill what feels like what I'm supposed to be doing. And I I don't necessarily think that it's important on like a huge scale or anything like that. I just find that it feels the most important to me. And of course, uh, sharing some snippets and just sharing artwork with you guys and with the world in general and being able to receive certain comments of encouragement and things like, uh, just just being able to give somebody else inspiration I think is important enough and significant enough for me to want to keep going with this endeavor so yeah I just thought I'd, I'd share that with you guys and um, that essentially expresses how <laughs> important this art book project is to me just because it's the last step I think for me before really diving into my comic which is the like next thing that i'm diving into sorry about the clunky sentence there but yeah essentially that's my plan i'm gonna slowly shift gears i just have one um commitment it's one outstanding freelance commitment coming up but it's a pretty short one and as soon as i'm done with that i am ready to switch gears 100 percent and i've squared everything away and i finished this large really large um freelance project recently like a couple of days ago which was this huge weight off my shoulders and that obviously helped my financial situation as well and my next steps are to start building a monetizable uh platform i guess for for the creation of my comic i definitely want it to be free to read but of course i'm planning to uh try to make money off of it obviously <laughs> probably through patreon so patreon is something that i'm gonna set up very soon and the reason why i've held off on it so far is because i actually want to dedicate a good portion of my time to it and i wanted it to be completely related to my comic project and so now that i'm at a point where i can dedicate it dedicate the time necessary i am uh, I'm, I'm free to to start that and my current patreon does exist but it has been inactive for quite some time so I'm just gonna probably revamp the already existing one and get back to it and my ideal goal for the future uh, in terms of my art career is to be working um, on my comic of course and uh, the supplemental income hopefully will come from making comic related merchandise so that is my dream goal that I'm going to be working towards achieving and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys. I didn't really talk about the process at all here, but that's fine. It's it's nothing new, but this illustration did probably take the most time of anything that I've done in, in recent 
years, it's very, it's it's relatively large. And nine by twelve is usually the maximum size that I work with. But yeah, it took took a while. I put a lot of effort to, into it, and I am very pleased with how the cover of the art book turned out. And I'm planning to organize some sort of live stream situation very soon, hopefully before the end of the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, I obviously want to raise more funds in order to unlock the stretch goals for everyone. And that um, will... <laughs> I was planning to make the live stream to illustrate the new postcard art that I'm planning to do. So that that's the plan. I have not made a setup for traditional live streams yet, but I'm going to look into that and hopefully I'll be able to set it up pretty quickly. Maybe next week, I hope, but I will obviously keep you guys in the loop and let you know when that will happen. And yeah, really, really hoping that we manage to reach this extra 16 page stretch goal because the content is already there and it, it really breaks my heart to cut it away from the book. So hopefully that will happen. And yeah, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the process of this illustration. I'm happy to finally be publishing it or making it available because I have been, like I mentioned, sitting on the footage for quite some time. And again, if you want to support this project, please check out the Kickstarter in my description, the link in my description. And I'm super excited to dive into making a lot more artwork with uh, my characters and just developing more visuals for the comic and start a Patreon and all that. I will, of course, keep you guys in the loop about everything, all my plans. And yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully this is this is it, you guys. <laughs> I've been working towards this for so long and I'm finally here. So thank you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and supporting my art. And uh, yes, I will see you soon. Bye.